I am very excited to be here with Daniel Johnson. We're here at Cine Family in Los Angeles. And tonight, Daniel, we had the pleasure of experiencing along with you a lot of wonderful sort of footage from back in the day, lost footage, home movies, things like yeah, that. Yeah. What was it like to see some of that old uh, wonderful stuff? It was, it was uh, nostalgic. Yeah. You know, it's not like I remember it. It okay. was so long ago, it, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, so, but they, uh, I want to make more movies. That's what I, you know, so. I, I, I heard you say that, and uh, of course, the most recent uh, "Hi, How Are You," the very art, artful documentary that came out in November. That's been really well received. Uh, a lot of people really love that one. What's been the uh, reception from fans? Have you had people come up and talk to you about that one? <laughs> a little bit. Uh, yeah, the, they're so good to me. The fans yeah. are always kind. And I, I, I wave around sometimes when I do a show and autograph a lot of people and stuff. It is a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun and a lot of money. I'm happy. Well, well that is important. I actually I saw some people here at Cine Family, Bobcat Goldthwait, some other people uh, showing love, supporting your work, which is a beautiful thing. So really excited about that. Daniel, I have a couple questions about, of course, in the 80s, you put out a lot of your content on cassette. You had a cassette duplicator, and that's how you put out music. Do you have a format preference? I mean, if you could put out your music in a certain format, would it be cassette? Would it be vinyl, CD? Yeah, uh, vinyl, vinyl is a lot better. CD is such a ripoff, you know. It's yeah. so easy to scratch the record when you put it in, yeah. finger, fingerprints, it smears, and it just don't last, yeah. you know. Yeah. But now there's a return to vinyl, and I'm sure positive about this news. So we went to a record store today. What's that, Amy Amelia or something? Uh, Amoeba? Here in, in Los Angeles? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And it was like, all new copies of the Beatles catalog, the yes. complete, yes. like 10 rubber soles, wow. you know, wow. and, a be and uh, all Bob Dylan obsession, and, wow. and they even have used videos there, uh -huh. even at more of a discount, wow, that's but amazing. that is the greatest store I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm so glad that vinyl's back because CDs never work too well, or cassettes. Yeah, that's yeah. So even in the days of putting out cassettes, uh -huh. you would you would have preferred to be printing 7-inch uh, uh, singles or full 12-inch well, records. I've tried, I've tried a few times but wasn't really happening with them but now we got the vinyl I'm I want to get and record some new albums awesome. so that'd be cool awesome. well the fans out there will be waiting for that you of course have gone on record as saying you're a huge Beatles uh, fan and I know you pretty ha pretty much have all of their records but you you also collect bootlegs and kind of Liverpool like uh, the the uh, sort of fake Beatles you know the people that were pretending to be like Beatles that sound the mercy beat all that yeah, exactly. are, are there any bootlegs out there that if you had like a thousand dollars to spare that you would uh, get any any prized Beatles uh, bootlegs or things like that that you don't well, yet I have mean, I saw a, a mixing board oh, wow. that that uh, was like a guy had a bootleg of the Beatles in the studio just talking oh, wow, okay. he had a real to real got real a hold of a real master tape wow. they weren't saying much but you know, <laughs> but, you know that but, would be a good find though right yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Well, Daniel, another question for you. Your music is just so beautiful. It's such an honor to talk to you. <laughs> and um, the themes of, there's so many themes in your music that just transcend time and space. Uh, love and loss, life and death. And um, I wanted to ask you about the recent, uh, the passing, sad, sad passing of uh, folks like Prince and uh, David Bowie. Uh, were you a fan of any of their work? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mostly the Beatles Mostly was my hero. Yeah. yeah. But I love those groups, too. And... Uh, yeah. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. All right. Well, Daniel, over the years, you've done a lot of wonderful collaborations. Um, any collaborations musically that stand out that you look back and go, wow, that was lots of fun? Yeah, it was a lot of fun recording with Jad Fair. Yes, of course. And the Butthole Surfers okay. and uh, the Rhythm Rats, some of my favorite friends. They, I, I like to record with different people yeah. on a different album to have a whole new sound every time. Nice. And it's like, what's he playing now? You Always know, reinventing yourself, yeah. right? <laughs> with, with the different bands. It's that yeah. way, yeah. yeah. I agree. Yeah. That's very cool. Thanks again, Daniel. It was a real pleasure, man. Thank All you right. so much, buddy. Take care. God All right. Bless you. you too, man.